I'm Ed Annunziata, game producer and designer. I'm the creator of Echo the Dolphin, the classic underwater adventure game from Sega. I'm Spencer Nilsson. I'm the composer and producer of the same game series, Echo the Dolphin, along with other games that Ed and I collaborated on. And we're really excited to be here to tell you about our latest collaboration called The Big Blue. While this game isn't based on the original Echo the Dolphin series, it is the next evolutionary step in underwater adventure games. We want to make something epic, something with smooth game controls, a deep backstory, emphasis on exploration and artificial life. In a word, that's what this game's all about, life. Our game will deal with themes such as climate change, mass extinction, predation, evolution, and biogenesis. Ultimately, the game proposes the Gaia theory, the idea that the Earth itself is a living organism. Players will immerse themselves in a living world and become part of it. Immediately after the extinction of humans, the oceans become silent, causing a surge of cetacean communication. A kind of cetacean internet is born. This awakening brings life on Earth to the next step of evolution. Which brings us back to the core concept, life. Life, in essence, is information. So, like DNA, a song could contain information. And the song could be used to create a life form. And you're alone as a dolphin. And you could sing songs that form life forms. Just like DNA has the information to build a life form, these songs could also contain this information. Like if you were a sea mammal or a dolphin, you would emit a sound and listen to its reflection. And your brain would be able to take that information and form a three-dimensional image. As the sound designer and the composer, I'm really excited about the potential of how the soundtrack and the soundscapes can interchange with the visuals. The Big Blue has to be atmospheric and massive in its oral experience, not just the score and the soundtrack of the game, but actually the songs of the dolphins and the whales themselves. We call the sea mammals in the game singers. After millions of years, the singers have perfected their technology of songs. You can imagine songs as magic spells that do amazingly powerful things. Hi, my name is John Berg. Uh, you may have seen some of my work in the original Star Wars. One of the things I'm known for is Hammerhead, which is a, uh, a hybrid creature from the sea and uh, George Lucas's imagination. What is the environment in the ocean going to be like when all of the dust settles from what we've created? And what will emerge from that to adapt to that whole new world? It's an unlimited canvas. And I find that a, a, just a tremendous challenge to start thinking about that. If you've enjoyed the games that Ed and I have made in the past, you'll join us and you'll support us and you'll make this game happen. We've got the right team, the vision and the focus to pull this off. Ed and his team have 20 years of experience making highly original games on multiple platforms, including Echo the Dolphin. That's our story, and we're really excited to have you on board. We want to thank you for considering being involved in this epic project. Uh, it's something that we're extremely excited about, and uh, the evolutionary factor of this and coming back to the sea in a game environment after 15, 15 years is something that I'm really excited about. Um, so we hope that you'll support us and uh, we'll see you in the ocean. Thanks for helping us make this game.